What's up, besties? I hope you're having a sublime day. Um, so this is just like a little crafty video. I'm going to uh, sew a pocket, and I'm also going to just paint uh, on clothes and to to, to to do some patches and stuff like that. Um, yeah, uh, this is the before on me, uh, and I'm going to talk about why I don't feel bad about doing things to base this stuff in a second. All I'm going to so now is that the sweater was there for a reason um, and uh, I was trying to show you something but you clearly can't see because my hair is in the way but yeah this is not black this is dark blue and I don't like this color and I just wanted to be a little more interesting I didn't buy it myself but I just wanted to be like I'm very cool here mm -hmm. I'm not wearing it so I, I have been wearing it for for a long time now, but yeah, I just want to like sew something onto it um, without cutting. So like, if I want to get rid of it, I can just uh, you know rip rip the seams. Um, so like, if I don't like it, I can just get rid of it and it will be fine. But like without doing any visible damage to the actual thing because these are expensive, right? Um, this one's new. This this actually isn't thrifted, so yeah. When it comes to the white beater, uh, the problem I have is that I lean against a tree, <laughs> and you can see there is this little thing. Uh, that that's resin, and it's not coming off. I've washed it like twice already, and it's like a little stiff also. So yeah. I just want to make some design for the back uh, with which it won't look like uh, a bird has shot on me <laughs> because that's my favorite one. That's the worst part. I was wearing it because I like it and now it's... <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm going to fix it. Uh, I have a plan for it. <laughs> and when it comes to the jeans, these are also my favorite jeans and like they have a pocket here. No, they don't. This is a fake pocket. There is nothing to... <laughs> See, women's pants problem added again. The like side pockets are you know in like the front ones so, so like it has pockets. Uh, it's not in the back, but look. <laughs> yeah, it ri ripped like right underneath that po that pocket. It's like <laughs> yeah. So. Alright, so let's start with the jeans and I just want to measure out how big I want the uh, pocket to be because I decided I'm going to do just sew on a real pocket in here, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so it needs to be big enough to fit my phone in it. Um, right, so... Probably at least this big, right? Um, actually I'd rather, yeah, it was hidden a little. Um, so yeah, this is going, this is going to be a huge pocket for like, <laughs> women's pants. And I don't mind that at all. Maybe a little wider than the fake pocket. I can like, go over it, right? So, here's the fake one, here's the new one. I bought it. I'm going to make it straight after. I just want to know how big I want to go. Yeah, around this big will be perfect. Cool. So, yeah, this is our size. How did I make it wet already? I just washed the desk and everything's wet, but yeah. We're starting off with this thing and now I can just make the line even in the simplest way possible by bending paper cool and I've got a stencil okay I changed my mind and decided to actually maybe draw the seam allowances too because I just remembered that they need to be kind of even um, so I've got this paper with like a grid and I can just outline this real quick
Alright, I just realized I had a corner of my camera covering. Sorry, I'm not recording that. Um, so now I just need to cut this out. <laughs> nice big uh, piece of scrap fabric from back when I was sewing that style shirt uh, there is video from that as well now I'm just going to align the stencil in a way that I won't get these like stitch lines in here you can't see them on the camera but there's like a stitch because it's like the edge of the fabric and I just have my soap and I'm going to outline it with myself. And while I'm at it, I'm actually also going to just grab this and connect the lines in here. This is soap, so it's going to uh, dissolve the first time I'm washing it, it just, all it needs to be washed off is water, so there's nothing to be worried about. And now it's time to cut this out as well. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, you can see I have a towel that's over my table, I've got an iron and I just have to fold each of the sides like so, being careful not to burn myself. Alright, that's good enough, and then again to the middle. And now just pin it so it stays in place like that. Now just three more times. Okay, so now you can see we have these little thingies like sticking out, so I'm going to just crop like just the tiniest little bit, little bit in here. And then uh, what I had to do was to stitch the whole thing obviously, uh, so I just did a straight stitch all around the whole thing and then uh, one more line uh, just to secure the top part better so two lines at the top and one all around up you'll see in a moment and I also thought I'm going to attach this lace um, and like I thought it looks looked nice but my machine couldn't do it so I decided I'm just going to uh, hand stitch it later and just move on to the painting already Okay, so now what I want to do is I've got the band logo I want on this pocket here And um, yeah, I'm going to take that first stencil because I don't need it for anything anymore and I'm just going to Fold it where Yeah, I folded the Nice part, it's not sewn on yet, but uh, it's going to be here so it stays. And I'm going to just fold the paper in here to mark where it is, where it is. And now, now I just want to transfer that onto the paper. Right now, as, as you can see, it's way too big. Um, mm. 
I, I think that will be the size. I'm actually going to clip the paper to my computer, like so. And uh, all I need to do now is trace over the outline. Usually I draw everything myself, but this is literally just a simple two-toned symbol. So I kind of want this to be nice. Alright, so I got my stencil, I got a knife, I got a candle, I got some candles, one of which refuses to cooperate and yeah, let's cut this out. So now I need to align it, so that it makes sense. Now I've got just some paint brushes and uh, paint and I'm just going to go over the outline. Uh, this is fabric paint, uh, not the best one but still. Okay, so I actually messed up. I shouldn't have taken this off, I think, when I, it was still wet, but I can still see the lines, so I'm just going to bring in the black paint in a minute and just do the outline with black. I think it's going to be okay in the end. to the jeans I decided to hand stitch it because how do I even like put that in the machine so that it doesn't stitch the front of the pants to the back uh, obviously and initially I just wanted to do a back stitch um because it, it looked nice uh, because it would look uh, machine made uh, but in the end I decided to just go for the running stitch uh, because it was very thick and it was hard to do it it just pierces the needle through the, all the fab layers of the fabric, uh, and I will just follow the stitch I did on the machine. So I, I didn't cover all of the little stitches, obviously, but I hid the new, I hid the new ones in the uh, machine ones. And here is me uh, painting the little design on the back of the shirt. Uh, I'm just painting direc directly on it. I couldn't really sketch art a match. Um, all I could do was just like use the soap to plan out the like main line. Uh, I this is a painting of a snake with some flowers. Um, and yeah, I was just mostly for handing everything and just like not really thinking that much about it because. Again, it's a shirt that's already damaged. Yeah, I it couldn't go. It couldn't be much worse than it was to begin with. Uh, before painting, I I just put in something thick in it, like a thick notebook, just to like make sure that paint isn't going to bleed through uh, the shirt to the front. I, I still stained it somehow, so I added a little like flower design. So I kind of made it into one of the, the things that people hate a lot when there's like a minimalistic design on the front of the shirt and just. A very artistic bag, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't hate it. I, I think that's a cool trend. Mm. Yeah, and here is just the painting process. I don't think there is much to describe here. I just went for it, and I str I guess I struggled a lot with like the snake's head because I couldn't quite get it right. Uh, I used the black paint a lot, like kind of as a re in razor, but also to blend a little bit. Um, and to add black back to some places because I wanted the snake to have some texture and yeah, here is how that looks. Alright, the last patch uh, thing. Um, 
Turn around to do this, uh, you can't really see it. Uh, what I did now, I'm sitting in a dark room. The only other source of light than my computer is like the candles, but they don't really match. And right now, I just need to. Uh, you can't see this, but this isn't actually white, it's gray, so I will just. Uh, yeah, I will just make it white. Just put it over here. Okay. Perfect. Uh, it's a bit too big, I think. Um, yeah, I think I can't make it any smaller because it's going to be hard to paint. So my plan is, uh, I've got a clear film not to mess with my screen. I'm going to just put it over here. Cool. I've got the fabric. I'm just going to wrap both of those together and clip it to the top of my screen. I think I'm actually going to need more than one clip. Yeah, this is going to be a little wasteful when it comes to the fabric because it's not like on the edge but wherever. And now I'm just going to paint directly on top of this. As you can see, I've got a stencil. So. Yeah, I'm just going to switch devices uh, because my tablet is better for audio, but it's also huge, but yeah, you'll see. Alright, so I've got the rough shape and now it's just time to uh, polish it up now that I can actually see what I'm doing um, and yeah, just hang, hand paint on the details Now I'm just going to draw a rectangle around this patch and cut it out And then finally, I just sold the patch. Uh, I just sold the patch to the backpack. Uh, I picked the place on uh, in pockets, so it was quite an easy placement. I guess, I guess, as you can see, I cut around the lines actually, and then I folded the extra fabric back, so I have a nice edge. And this time, I did just back stitch it all the way. So here's how the stitch works. Um, and yeah, I don't think there is much to describe here. I just went around with that black uh, thread and tried to keep it somewhat neat. Um, again, if I want to get rid of the patch in the future, I can just uh, rip the so rip the seam, and it should be fine. Um, and ta-da! Here is what we ended up with. Um, all at once, yeah, yeah, I didn't show the back properly. Um, I tried just turning around and didn't see the camera, but here it is, like closer. Um, I hope anything I said or shown in this video is in any way useful or interesting to you. If you have any advice or ideas for the future, um, really anything. Uh, how was your day? Um, I would love it if you left that in the comment section down below and now just stay safe, uh, stay hydrated and peace.